Good morning. Is anyone there? Oh, yeah, there's a hello, Marcus, Debbie, hello. Demi. All right, we'll just I'll just wait a few moments just to make sure everyone gets on. Um, my, my iPad sideways, which is the only way I can work with it because I can't see the slides otherwise. So sorry if I'm not looking directly at the camera, but you'll see the slides more than me, hopefully. Good morning. Oh, who's that? Let's have a look. Oh. Morning. Oh, there's loads of people. Who's that? Oh, God, God, I can't. I need better glasses. Where's my magnifying glass? Julie, morning. I don't know how many people are in this um, session, but should I start or should I wait a little bit longer? Can you let me know, Passion? I don't know how many are supposed to be here. I've got 79. Oh, there's room for 500. Wow. Okay, I think I'll just wait a few more seconds, then we'll start. Yeah, I think I'll start now. We've got we've got 80 in the room. Good time to start. Why am I, am I upside down? Am I? Oh, let me see if, is that any better? I've turned the iPad around the other way. Not for me, not just, is that any better? Am I upside down? You don't want to see, you want to look at the slides anyway. No, you're not upside down for me. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm going to stay like this. I'm going to stay like this. Right, okay, so we, we'll begin. Doesn't matter if I'm upside down, you're not here to look at me, you're here to look at the slides and listen to me, hopefully. So yeah, um, thank you everyone for taking time out of your day to spend uh, the next hour with me to learn about Malibu Professional. Um, I know a lot of you do use um, Malibu C. Can you just l let me know if you do use it, just put a yes up. Um, those of you who don't, I'm going to give you a quite quite an, um, a comprehensive guide to it. So um, what is really important, what I've realized is that as we go back into our salons, we are gonna be using quite a lot of um, Malibu C to, to correct our client's hair, because some of them will be putting root sprays on, touch up, um, some have been using mascara, some have been um, probably coloring it themselves. Um, none of mine have colored their hair themselves as I know yet, but you never know. But I will be doing quite a lot of um, Malibu C makeovers. So um, let's go to the next slide. So who needs Malibu C? Well, pretty much everybody. So this is what's hiding in your water now. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. When you um, wash your hair you uh, with water, um, no matter how good the shampoo is, it still deposits the minerals onto your hair. So we need to get those out. So it's a bit like when you're in the shower and you see all the um, the marks, the water marks on the shower, that's what's actually building up on your hair and your skin. Now yesterday, I don't know if you, anyone saw my post, but I did a Malibu C uh, mask. And as I was washing it off, I could actually smell the minerals coming out of my skin. It was quite, it was, it was a little bit horrible, but I thought, oh, it's, it's actually got everything out. I didn't realize to do it on my face. So I did that yesterday. So that was really helpful. It was. Um, these little masks, but not this one. I use the green tea, the green matcha tea one. So what's hiding in your water? Lots of minerals. Now, unfortunately, clients um, clean their showers better than their hair because they don't know. So we're here to educate them on how to do this. And we do that with Malibu C. So what are the benefits of Malibu C? Benefits are, I've just, I've actually listed them so um, you can jot them down or take a screenshot, whatever's easier, but it helps to reduce um, colour fading, better grey coverage, it eliminates brassiness, um, it gets rid of muddy ashy tones, um, and it also will improve the movement and the manageability of your hair, it will actually start moving like hair again. I regularly do um, my hair every season, and also my clients, I recommend it, and now they started to ask for it. The more you do it, the more they start to ask for the degunking, some of them call it, and they like the way it feels, because it makes your hair feel a lot lighter and um, it can also restore highlights hidden highlights and um, it can also um, benefit in lots of other ways which I want to discuss with you right now what's that the bathroom tap comparison oh yeah okay oh yes I forgot to mention um, when you're um, 
asking questions, put it in the question box. It's down at the bottom. And also if you want to make a comment, which I do encourage you to make comments, I will try and read those. I forgot about the little box at the bottom. I will try and read those as I go along. Um, just make some comments or if there's anything you want to ask me, ask. And if I don't cover it during um, this um, session, we'll cover it all at the end. Okay, so that's that. So Malibu C does have um, a wellness um, solution for everything, for every scalp, hair, skin problem. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about the, the vegan power of it. It's a 100% vegan, which is brilliant. I, I don't think we need um, products to have animal products or byproducts in them. So I do believe that I'm not a vegan myself, but I do believe that this is the way forward with hair and skincare products. So it's 100% vegan, which is really good. It's, it's, it's out there at the moment, isn't it, with um, all of the um, wellness uh, things that we've got. Also, they are in powder form sachets. So when you um, look at the little sachets, it's all in powder form. And they are sealed. Um, so nothing can get in there. So that's good. So you can send these out to clients, which I do a lot. It saves a lot of time in the salon. Um, and they're easy to store. So it doesn't take up much room in your dispensary. So that's really good about the little sachet form. Right, minerals are a nuisance massively. Um, they, I, I have noticed a great difference with my colours and cut and blow dries, especially with that really thick, hard hair that you can't blend. Um, I've really noticed a massive difference with the performance of my colours as well. So that's why I, I, I use it all the time. And uh, the more I talk about it, the more my clients are asking asking for it and getting used to it. So to begin with, calcium um, is in our water. Uh, so is copper, so is iron, so is magnesium, silica and lead. It's all in our waters. And this is what it can do. Now you can take a screenshot or I can go through them for you. Uh, do the sachets have a shelf life? Um, I don't, I, I'm not quite sure. I don't think, to be honest, I, they don't stay in my cupboard for long. So um, I don't know, but I'm sure they probably do, but they are humetically humet sealed. So. I can never say that word, which means no air or water can get inside there. So I don't think um, they, they probably do have a shelf life, but probably very, very long. I don't know. I, I will find out for you. Or maybe um, Debbie or Daniel will know this one. Um, I knew someone would ask me something I didn't know. But um, thank you for that, Jodie. But um, I'm sure um, they do last quite a long time. I can't actually see. I don't, I can't, even with my glasses, I can't see the back of that. But um, they don't last long enough in my salon to go off, so to speak. So um, I will find that one out for you. So calcium can cause a barrier, which is not good for colours. It's, it can cause dandruff, hair loss, breakage, copper. This is what we find in swimming pools. And when you go abroad, um, there's a lot of uh, calcium um, or chlorine in swimming pools, which can make your hair go green. But it can also darken dark hair. So this is one to remember when you're um, uh, doing people's hair when they come back from holiday. It's good to get rid of that. Um, iron on your hair makes tints come out darker. So if you're colouring someone's hair, it can actually make it come out one shade darker than you expected, which is, you know, not not good if that's not what you want. Um, it can also prevent uh, color, uh, chemical processes such as perms and straightening and uh, colouring systems. It, uh, it can also make um, natural hair go orange as well. And I've seen this with one of my clients. She, um, I thought she'd coloured her hair, but then I sent her... Um, a sachet and she did it and it, it came out so be aware of that magnesium can make your hair feel dry and damaged and uh, quite heavy silica um, can it makes your hair feel dry and hard um, I've had silica on my hair and it does make it feel hard and your skin it makes it feel quite um, sort of dry and rough and it can also make your hair heavy and can lead to hair loss as well um, also lead is a very heavy metal so this will make the your hair feel quite heavy, it prevents chemical processing and also makes your hair feel dry. So um, this is uh, not good for your hair. So I'm just seeing for the wet products and the sachets, there is no, oh, can't see the rest of that. Uh, there's no, all right, okay, so they don't know, for, oh, what? can't see the rest of that for some reason. No shelf life, right, okay. Until they are mixed with an open packet. Yeah, so they are all activated by water. So that's probably why they do last um, a fairly long time. So that's good. There's no shelf life, but they won't last long in your salon. As soon as you, if you're not using them in your salon, I suggest you start talking about it and using them because you will notice a significant difference in the performance of your uh, colours, perms, straightening systems, treatments, everything. 
um, and uh, keratin treatments as well. Also uh, with hair loss, but I will go into that uh, a lot more later. Right, I just want to talk to you a little bit about ascorbic acid because this is what uh, Malibu C is all about. It's all about total oxidation management. And ascorbic acid is um, vitamin C. Now it is activated with water and all of our sachets have got different um, percentages of ascorbic acid because sometimes you might look at the packets and think, right, okay, this one's got the same as, that's got the same ingredients, but they've all got varying amounts of ascorbic acid in them. And ascorbic acid is vitamin C. Now crystal gel has the most um, out of all of the packets. So that's the one that's gonna <clears throat> get rid of the minerals a lot um, easier. So that's got the, the largest percentage and all the others have got the right amount of percentage to do the job that they need to. And um, it's got a short um, shelf life once it is mixed with water. And once it starts to go off, it will turn um, sort of yellow and then turn brown. So it will turn to this, this is deox that I've had fixed up for a little while and it will turn brown like this. Can you see that? Can you all see that? I hope you can. Yes, okay, right, so that will turn brown and I'm gonna talk about that later and it kind of goes a little bit cloudy. I don't know if you can see that. But that is how it turns and it basically just turns to sugar. So, um, but I will talk about how that can still work later on. Um, so having crystal gel uh, or a Malibu makeover on your hair is like going to the dentist for a deep clean. So um, in the salon, we deep clean people's hair and when they um, maintain it at home, they're just cleansing it and maintaining it. And then they come back to us and we do a deep clean like the dentist does. I've just got to take a sip of water. I've got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> okay, so where are we? Next slide, I'm just gonna scroll down. Malibu makeover. Now, <clears throat> who does these in their salons? I hope you do. It's not just for um, colouring. Just uh, we do. Yep, yeah, that's good, Alex. You do right. So it's a three-step process, and um, it deep cleans your hair. So, and also by doing a Malibu uh, crystal gel first, it will um, make all the other sachets more effective. So if someone hasn't had a crystal gel, using um, say any of these sachets here there's quite a few so using any of these here it won't be as effective I mean, these will do something they'll they will do something it's better than nothing however they need to have a um a crystal gel first to make sure that they have got all of the minerals off of their hair to be to make the sachets more effective so that's what i do so i i explain this to um, all my clients and they understand so they can maintain at home but they do need a crystal gel malibu makeover first whether it be with just their cut and blow dryer or whether it's with um a color service or a perm or something like that so this will deep clean the hair and it will prepare it for a, um, a chemical service and oh everyone's saying yes yep yeah, oh, yep yeah, you do use that um, this needs to be on the hair for 45 minutes max. Um, it takes 20 minutes for it to work, but if you want to get full benefits out of it, you need it on uh, 45 minutes under heat. It must go under heat. Malibu C are natural products, so they need the heat for, for the hair to open up so the product can go inside. That's why we use heat. And you use um, how uh, you use a dryer or those um, heat caps. I actually prefer to use a dryer. I've used quite a few methods, but I find the dryer gives the most um, intense, uh, consistent heat, and you have it on as hot as your client can bear it. And if they say it's too hot, um, I will answer that question in a sec. Um, uh, how much it is if, it, if the client says it's too hot, just turn it down. But I like I say to them, I'm going to put it as hot as possible, and then I will. If it gets too hot, just let me know. They just have to raise their hand. And how much do I charge for a 45 minute makeover? I charge 20 pounds or um, 25 if it's longer. If I do use say two packets, if it's really long, thick, extremely thick hair, 
I would uh, probably add an extra £10 on that, so it would be um, £30. Depends. But um, as you know, I work, uh, I, uh, I work um, from my home salon, so I've got a, 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 a proper salon in my home, so I don't have the overheads of a salon, so I can probably charge a little bit less than what um, salons would. But if I was in, in my salon like, that I used to have, I'd probably be charging just a little bit more. But that's up to you to decide on your area and how much it is. And if that's done every... Um, say season so every every um four times a year it's not a lot really when it comes to uh, maintaining your color and your hair so that's what i would recommend with the malibu makeover so as we said it's a three-step process so you um undo goo first undo goo's got a ph of uh, nine so what that will do is cleanse the surface of your hair so you do that twice and then you apply crystal gel you can do it at the basin or at the section it's, it's completely up to you where you apply this and um, whether it be in a bottle um like this a much bigger one than this actually i've, I've got one but you can you mix it up in that or you can um they do have actually these bottles it's got color at the moment they've got these but they've got the plain ones so you can apply it with that i think i've got some slides later on how you can apply the crystal gel or you can put it on uh, with a tint brush and a bowl. It's completely up to you. It just depends um, how you prefer to do it. It doesn't matter. As long as you get enough on there, really saturate the hair and rub it into the hair as well because you are um, exfoliating the hair, so to speak. And then that goes under the dryer, 45 minutes max. And then uh, when you come back, you undo goo three times. Well, you don't... I say two to three times. Um, if the hair starts to feel a little bit rough and, and you can't run your fingers through it, that means there's still minerals in the hair. So you can shampoo it even more um, with the undo goo and then you go in with your um, miracle repair afterwards. Um, if you find that still after your hair, the hair's still feeling um, sort of tangled and you, and you can't do that to it. If you can't do that to the hair, that means there's still minerals on it. So you've got to go in again with crystal gel. But that hasn't happened um, to me so far. So... I think that's quite all right. Uh, it does get it off in um, uh, 45 minutes. I think someone's got to have really intensely um, heavy hair with minerals for that to happen. But that's the advice that I was given. Um, if the hair doesn't, uh, if, you, if you can't run your fingers through the hair, redo it. Okay. Right, so I just want to talk about how Malibu Makeover can help with all types of uh, skin and scalp conditions. Now, um, this is for uh, excessively um, oily scalps, um, dry scalp as well. Um, it can be used for hair loss. Uh, when I use um, Euphora thickening for men and for women, I always do a Malibu uh, makeover first to cleanse the scalp. Because if it's, if it's blocked, if there's minerals block, blocking the hair follicle, and that's going to stop your products to work properly. So. I would always start with this, cleanse the scalp, cleanse the um, minerals off, and then recommend your um, uh, hair thickening product. So that's good for uh, thinning hair. Um, it's good for eczema, psoriasis. Um, it can also be used to soothe eczema on your skin as well. Um, I will show you a picture of um, a hand in a minute, uh, my son's hand in a minute, who at the beginning of the school, the, not the school holidays, beginning of um, lockdown, he was quite stressed and it came out in his hands um, and he, he was due to do exams. So he found that quite stressful. So I think it just all came out. It was quite, so it was internally um, uh, stressing. So it came out on his skin and it actually helped his skin. So we did a, a little um, a mineral cleanse on his skin first. And then um, I've been treating it with um, Euphora products as well. So this will exfoliate the skin as well as the hair um, and the scalp. So this is really good and it's really moisturizing. It doesn't foam up as much as the um, other sachets. It's quite creamy, it's more moisturizing. So don't expect it to um, foam up that much. And it's, it is more moisturizing. It goes more like a jelly and then you just massage it into the scalp mainly and then into the hair. So I'll just show you that. I'll just have a look at some questions here. What would be the effect of process? Uh, the effect of reducing the process in time. Um, if you didn't put it on for maximum time, you wouldn't get the maximum benefits. But if it's 
someone say that's been having Malibu C makeovers um, consistently, then you may not have to do it for 45 minutes each time. So the first time you do it, it's best 45 minutes. And then the next time they come in, if they've been using um, one of the wellness packs at home or using good shampoos at home, um, you would maybe do it for 20 minutes um, and then or, or 20 to 45 minutes. It's completely up to you, but you know, you can usually feel the hair and know. So in my hair, for instance, where I do Malibu makeovers every three months, I don't leave it on 45 minutes unless I've been on holiday and I've been in the sea and I've been into a swim pool and that kind of thing. So that's when you know. Um, you, you, you tend to know. Once you start using the product, you tend to sort of get the feel of how someone's hair feels when they've got a build up on it. So it will still work um, after 20 minutes. It's better than nothing. So if you've only got 20 minutes, do, still do it, but have it on hot. Okay, so this is, um, I don't know if you can see that, it's very clear, but the, the first picture was three weeks ago when we started lockdown, probably a little bit longer now um, since I wrote this program. And then um, 20 days afterwards, you can see it's not as um, as raw looking. So that's what I did to his skin. I used um, crystal gel, so that on there, just mixed it up and I just put a little bit on his hand and I mixed it just that little bit thicker than I would normally. I let it sit for a little while and then I rinsed it off and then I've um, been using some good moisturizers, Euphora moisturizers on there. <clears throat> oh dear, this frog's not going, is it? Oh. Mm. Sorry about that, I drink water all day long, so bear with me. So a few things that are good to know. Um, crystal gel is, um, like we said, ascorbic acid, that's lemon juice or, or citric acid. So if someone's got like um, some abrasions on their scalp or open cuts, things that are not you know, massive open cuts, it will sting a little bit. They might not even be noticeable, these little abrasions on the scalp. And it might be like a little spot that they've scratched so if it tingles on the scalp, that's absolutely normal. So um, your client might say, oh, it stings. Um, it's not gonna be a burning sensation like you would get with a reaction. It's, it's just a slight tingling and it could sort of sting a little bit. You know, when you get lemon juice in your cup, it does sting, it's like that. It's not gonna harm the skin. It actually means it's working. So don't be scared of if someone says, oh, it's tingling. You could turn the heat down if it's getting too hot as well, because obviously that's gonna accelerate it but um, don't be frightened if it's tingling. If it's absolutely burning someone's skin and, and, and ask them that question, is it burning? Um, and if they say, yes, it's burning, I cannot take it, rinse it off. But I've never had that happen to me. I've had tingling from clients and, and I say to them, that's absolutely normal, can you bear it? It usually eases off. It just means it's healing your skin and repairing the skin. So crystal gel has got the highest, um, percentage of ascorbic acid. They won't give us the exact percentages, obviously, because um, we would copy it. But um, just so you know that they, they, they've got the percentages of each, pro each um, product correct. So that's why the ingredients can be the same. I, I did mention that earlier as well. So but it's got the most in there and it's the most effective. Okay. Malibu C for cut and blow dries. And this is good for hair that's, um, you know, that really difficult hair to blend, um, that's really dead straight, doesn't move, you know, your scissor over combing and you're, and you're doing it and doing it and it's just not blending. It's good for hair like that. Um, it's good for hair that is, that takes a long time to dry. This is because they've got an excessive buildup over their hair and, um, the, the water's not, it's just being trapped in there, it's can't, it can't come out. So it's good for hair that takes too long to uh, blow dry. Also, it's good for hair that doesn't move. You've got hair that sort of moves in clumps like that. It doesn't sort of move like that, if that makes sense. So it's good for hair like that. It's also good for hair that lacks shine and also for hair that is very weighted as well. So it's, it's good for all of those reasons and it will refresh the natural color as well. And a good maintenance at home would be the hard water wellness. So we do have the packs, I've got them all over there. You don't need to, you've got them here actually. Um, so that's the one that's good. That's for cut and blow dry. So hard water wellness, that's what is the maintenance for home. Okay. Um, no more questions there. 
Okay, Malibu for highlights or bleached hair. Now, if you're going to going to highlight hair or um, bleach it, pre-lighten it, I still call it bleach. I can't get out of that habit. Um, it's actually fine to call it bleach, um, in my opinion. So it's not um, bleach is bleach. Um, this, what this will do, it will clean the hair and it will make it easier for you to lighten the hair either for highlights or for low lights um, or for, no, not low lights, sorry. It will um, make it easier for you to lighten uh, for highlights or for um, all over bleach. Um, what this will do, it just cleans the minerals off. So it makes it much more, much easier to lighten the hair and it also will make it come out more evenly as well. Um, it also helps to, um, get uh, an even lightness as well. So sometimes when you um, like bleach hair or you highlight it, you get like different, you get banding. It kind of helps with that as well. It eliminates that. Obviously, sometimes banding will happen, but this will make it um, lift up a lot cleaner. So you get a much nicer result. And it's really lovely with high lift tints as well. It really does get that real nice clean um, look. Any questions on that one at all? Oh, I thought, hold on. I'm going to answer a lot of your questions. I've missed quite a few because it's, it doesn't scroll. All right, doesn't right. Okay, I will answer all your questions at the end. Is it violet tinted? Is the shampoo's violet tinted? The actual sachet, it's just white crystals. That's the Malibu blondes. That that's just um, white crystals, and that's what you would use at home. So we're just talking about Malibu makeover before highlights or bleaching. Um, at home, you would use this as a home maintenance um, pack. But yes, the shampoo conditioner is violet tinted and it's brilliant. It's um, it will just eliminate yo and brassness. It will just it will just control that. Okay. Also, you won't get any um, chemical um, reactions. I don't know if you've ever experienced this. I did years ago when you put highlights um, in the hair and they start to um, drip with water. That's the metallic salts reacting with um, your bleach. And years ago, I didn't know this. I just thought, oh my God, I've used something awful on somebody's hair. But now, obviously, with the new education that we've had and, and the knowledge that we've got, it's not, it wasn't the product, it was the actual metallic salts that's on somebody's hair. That's, that was creating that reaction. So that won't happen anymore. You won't get watery highlights. Didn't realize there was different types, different types of what? Uh, sachets, is that sachets that you didn't realize? Okay. I think the questions are a little bit delayed. So would you recommend a client student? Yeah, I'm gonna come to that, Chloe. I will come to that. I will answer that at the very end, but um, as well if I don't cover it but Malibu makeover for colored hair now this is for um, people with uh, tinted hair low lights um, high fashion color hair and this is good this what this does it helps to give you a nice clean canvas now the way that I look at it is when you're painting a picture you pick up a white canvas don't you you don't pick up a canvas that's already been painted on and start painting over it to make your creation. So this is how I explain it to clients. I need a clean canvas. I need a blank sheet of paper. So I would do a Malibu makeover before all of my colors. Um, if they haven't had a Malibu makeover before, or I would use the color prepare. So that's what I would use. I think this may answer your question, Chloe. So I would use um, one of these either the day before I send it to them and they do it and they come in um, with this uh, with having done this or I do it on the day and it takes 10 minutes at the basin so it doesn't actually take that long but what I will be doing is sending out um, colour questionnaires to all of my clients to find out what's been going on with their hair whilst they've been um, on lockdown and um, if they have been using colours I will do a Malibu um, makeover if they haven't I will do one of these or whichever one I think they need like the hard water so I think that covers that question does it help for people who have visit yes right i'm gonna yes 
So this is good for um, people that have got hair breakage, people that have been colouring their hair or you, you've coloured it and it's starting to break, it's good for that because that could be the minerals that are making it hard and if you're colouring it, you can't really colour hair that's like that. But this will help. So obviously um, this will help with um, the vibrancy of the colour as well. It'll also help with um, really difficult uh, white hairs that don't cover properly, so it will help with that. Um, and it will also help with uneven coverage. So I think that covers your question. I'll answer how much I charge at the very end, if that's all right. Um, so this is really good for, it preps any color work for you. Right, that's, yeah. So that's good for that. We, have we got all that covered? Any more questions on that one? I think I've covered all that. So at home, they would take the this pack home, the colour wellness, and you can actually infuse it with colour if you wanted to. I will talk more about that in a moment, um, depending on what sort of colours they have. So this is what they would infuse it with if they have high maintenance colour. So this one here is for people that have got, say, say hair like mine, that's just a regular tint, maybe some a little bit of ballet on the hair on the hair that's what you would they would use and you can infuse this with color i will show you how to do that later or we've got these um color infusing packs and these are for different types of hair so you've got the volume the texture and the revitalize so volume is for fine hair texture is for hair that's curly revitalize is for high fashion colors or highlights the, the uh, ashy highlights that sort of thing so that's so a very high maintenance colors toned hair that sort of thing okay so if they've never had a melanoma maker, would you do the first one andrea right okay so andrea hello andrea didn't see that you're on here so yes i would do a malibu makeover uh, uh crystal gel first for say uh, if it's the very first time they're going to have malibu do that and then you do we do your color and then the next time they come in say six weeks later that's when you would do the color prepare now sometimes um i haven't done it and that's for people that have come in say more regularly says so that i've got people that come in say every three weeks or every four weeks i might not do it so i might do it every sort of six to eight weeks with them so that's you know your clients and if they've got very difficult hair i would do it the more difficult your client's hair is, I would actually look to Malibu C to um, give you a fresh canvas. Okay, you got it. Brilliant. Okay, so that's good for that. And we'll go on to the next slide. So Malibu, oh, we've done that one. That's, we've done that one. Let's scroll down. Bear with me. Okay. Well, after Malibu makeover, you can actually customise it with um, these conditioners. These are Rehydrate, Illuminate, and oh God, I can't see that one. Hydrate, illuminate, and uh, revitalize. So these are used for after Malibu. Um, uh, uh, this one, sorry. <laughs> Miracle repair. This is so weird talking to the screen. But um, after your um, Malibu makeover, this is the last step after the color. So I don't know if you can see it. Uh, Miracle repair. So after you rinse this off, a few people have said to me, the hair doesn't feel that soft afterwards. Not clients, um, hairdressers. So I would follow up with a conditioner because this is essentially a treatment. This goes inside the hair. So you would need to follow up with um, one of these conditioners, ideally. And each one, um, you can actually intermix them so you can cocktail them. And I've got uh, actually a sheet. I could probably post it on the... I'll just grab that actually. I've got a formula sheet here. I will post it up on our group afterwards, one of these that tells you what the problem of someone's hair and what to use. So I will post that up on how to cocktail these um, conditioners. Okay, our favorite bit, well, my favorite bit anyway. So corrective color guide. This is a really quick color guide. So um, we've all, um, going to be having a lot of colour correction or corrective colour work to do. So colour disruptor breaks down hair colour. This is a new product. I will talk more about this in a moment. Quick fix will remove tone. CPR removes oxidative colour. DDL removes um, levels. And crystal gel removes minerals and deox stops oxidation. 
Okay, so that's just a very quick, I will talk more about that now. So we've got different types of color. Um, when someone comes to me and they've colored their own hair, or if it's a new client, I'm gonna correct their color or they want something different. I ask them, what sort of color did you use on your hair? Uh, hold on, Jodie, what do the three conditions do? Oh, right, let's go back to that. Okay, one's for moisture, one's for shine, and one's for protein. Okay, so depending on what the hair needs. So curly hair would need a lot of, pro, uh, a lot of um, moisture. Um, colored hair would need a lot of shine or blonde hair needs more shine than darker hair. And uh, the uh, protein is for strength. So that's what you, how you can cocktail them. So if you wanted to put shine and moisture into someone's hair, you'd, cocktail, you'd put the two together. If you wanted protein, you would put in um, the protein as well. You can use all three, but so it just depends what the hair needs. So say curly hair like mine would need moisture and shine. That's it. I don't need protein. My hair's really strong. You know what your client's hair is doing. So you just cocktail this at the, at the back wash. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. Um, okay. So we've done that one. So three types of color. So yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, if, um, your client comes in and you've never done her hair. I, this is this is what I ask them. I ask in the packet that you use, was it one bottle, two bottles, or three bottles? Now, if it's one bottle, it's a direct color. If it's two bottles, it's an oxidized color. If it's three bottles, it's an oil color. Don't think we have these. I think this is more of an American thing, um, or or something that's quite old. I'd, I've never ever had uh, a client say they've had um, three bottles in there. But a lot of clients think that a semi or a semi permanent is uh, a wash in, a wash out, but it had, if it's got two bottles, it's some sort of permanent. We know that, and that's this is what we need to explain to our clients. So this gives you an insight of what's gone on to their hair, because quite often they don't know, and that's what I use to ask them. If they have used um, an oil colour, CPR or DDL will not, or crystal gel will not get rid of the minerals or the colour. So this is what you've got to do. You've got to use colour disruptor, which is this product here. That will break down um, the color or you go in with undo goo illuminate treatment which is this conditioner here that one there the pink one you go in with that and let me go back to that one and it goes under heat for 10 minutes and then you start with your cpr or ddl what the illuminate does is oil based so it will just break down um, the color that's on there the oil color that's if you need to do an oil break that's if they said they've got three bottles in the product that I used, but that's quite rare. Protein, strength, stretchy hair. Yes, protein is used for, yeah, for strength, stretchy hair, yeah. Okay, color disruptor. This is a new product. Does anyone um, use this in their salons currently? No, 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 never seen it Oh. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> good. Well, we have got an offer on this at the moment, which I will talk to you about it um, afterwards. I think probably we haven't used this because maybe quite a lot of us use um, census. So we use um, census. Loved it when you used it on me. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask you about your hair, Kylie. How is it? Um, if someone used John Fried, uh, I'll, I'll, answer, I'll answer that in a minute. Um, at the very end, Rebecca, if that's all right, about the John Frieda lightning stuff, because I can't read it properly at the moment. Um, my screen keeps cutting things off. Right, so back to um, Colour Disruptor. This, what this does, it's a bit like, if you imagine it, um, you've got a stain on your clothes. And this is how um, Missy um, explained it to me. She said that if there's a stain on your clothes and you're gonna wash it, you treat the stain first, and then you wash it and it helps the stain to come out better. That's what this is used for. So it just makes color removal easier. So my first port of call is if I'm doing a color correction or color removal or color um, reduction, I will put this on first and, um, and then I would ca carry on with my um, CPR, DDL, that kind of thing. Okay, so this just makes um, color, rem let's put that there, color removal a lot easier and it helps CPR and DDL to do their job properly. Um, so without this, 
it actually makes CPR work to get rid of the minerals and the colour and it's not going not gonna to get the best out of CPR. So it just helps to um, clean it clean it all off and break down any colour. It's oil and alcohol based, so it can break down any type of colour, oil colour, um, um, direct or uh, oxidised colour. So it's good for that. And the way that you use it, is colour disruptor a shampoo? No, it's not. Everyone asks that. I think they ask that because it's in the shampoo bottle. It's in the same as all the other, sh uh, but it's not. It's definitely not. And when you, um, it's got a really nice smell, and it's when you feel it, it um, it feels quite oily because it it's got oil in it and alcohol, which help to break down the colour. So it's not. Um, but the way you use this is that you shampoo your hair with um, undo goo, uh, you rinse, and then you apply this. Um, I, I, the way I do it is pour it out, put it into a bowl and apply it with a tint brush all over the hair and then massage it in. I wear gloves. I wear gloves for everything. I, I even wear gloves for um, doing Malibu C. Not because it's bad for your hands. You don't have to wear gloves. You don't have to wear gloves with CPR. But I just wear gloves for absolutely everything because my hands just are, are just dry. So I do put gloves on especially for that and all colour work. Um, I think we're going to have to wear gloves for everything now, to be to be honest. So then you undo goo. Uh, sorry, you um, apply. So you undo goo, apply this to the hair, go under the dryer for uh, ten to twenty minutes. Um, no, sorry, twenty to thirty minutes. <coughs> think about. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> think about something else. Goes under heat for twenty to thirty minutes. This gives it time to break down. If it's if it's your a client that you've never seen before, a new client, definitely thirty minutes. If it's a regular client, um, maybe to, and it's just your colours that she's having on, on her hair or his hair, just um, twenty minutes will be enough, and um, you won't see any colour change. What this does when you go to rinse it and shampoo afterwards with undo goo, um, just do it once or twice with undo goo afterwards. Um, you'll see some colour will come out, and it just helps. To, it just breaks down the colour. And then you start to go in with your other colour removal uh, or reduction products. So then I would always go in with um, CPR first. Would you use contact before after, or after crystal gel? Right, okay, good question. Um, I wouldn't actually do, crystal, if I'm going to do a colour, because we're talking about colour, correcting colour now, I wouldn't actually start with um, crystal gel. What I would do, if I'm going to remove colour, I'm going to go in with um, colour disruptor, and then I will go in with my um, CPR, so I'll go in with that. And what this does, this removes minerals, I'm going to talk about that now, so it will probably clear up that question even more. So um, you don't need crystal gel because all of the um, sachets, bar one, gets, uh, removes minerals in some capacity. But CPR will remove minerals and it will remove colour as well. It's clay based, um, so it helps to draw the colour pigment to the surface and that's, when you, um, that's how the colour gets removed. And I will talk about how to use that now. Do, do, have any of you used CPR? I know some of you have, but how many on here would have used CPR? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, they've improved it. It's actually more potent. Um, yeah, oh, so quite a lot of you. Do, do you like it? I hope you do. <laughs> so what this does, it draws out metallic minerals as well as colour. So it gets rid of those metallic salts that um, are a problem to us. Yeah, love it, brilliant. It's, it's nice and gentle. It is... It is slow, it's a slow process, but I know that if I'm going to do a colour um, correction, I'm going to do it, uh, it it's going to oh, take, I don't know, three, three hours. I'll start from three hours and that's it. Right, we've sort of got 15 minutes left. Um, right, so the way you use it um, is that you, <clears throat> you put this on underneath the dryer, dryer 45 minutes and um, then you shampoo it off afterwards with undo goo. Uh, three times and this helps to remove the colour. No, we usually use SOS. Yeah, SOS is good. I use SOS as well. Um, I use Euphora and uh, Malibu C, depending on what the client 
needs are, but it's very slow. Well, I'm going to power through these because um, we've not got much time uh, left. But um, would we be allowed any extra time? Maybe can you talk us through the pricing? Yeah, I'll do that at the end. I just want to get through all of these slides because we've got quite a lot. This is usually like a whole day that I do this in. So um, double down. Um, if you need to double down to get uh, into more intensity, it's basically put, uh, doubling the power of the products. You can use two, two, two sachets and you would put CPR under heat for 20 minutes and then you'd wipe off the excess and then mix up a fresh lot and put it on again for another 20 minutes. And you can apply the heat again for another 20 minutes. Um, this can also be done with crystal gel if you don't want to use two packets of CPR or if you run out of um, CPR and you know you've got to do two. So this helps to get twice as much um, power from it. Okay, persulfates. We've got three types of persulfates, ammonium, potassium and sodium. This is what lightens the hair and um, varying percentages affect the lifting power. Now, currently we've got DDL that's our only um, product with persulfates in it, which is why it lifts um, natural hair as well as uh, colored hair as well. Um, CPR does not lift natural hair, by the way, but DDL does, so you mustn't get it onto the regrowth. This will lift natural hair because it is a lifting agent. Um, they have got a new one coming out, which is called um, DDL Extra, it's not available in the UK yet, um, but they've now added a, a ammonium to it, which is what gives it that extra lift. We didn't have ammonium in it before, which is why this one, uh, sorry, DDL, was ammonia free. That We still have that, but we've got the XL coming through. Daniel, we need this, please. <laughs> but it's got ammonia, but obviously you would use this on hair that can take it. Um, okay. Oxidation, right, five grades of oxidation. You've got, you want, might want to take a screenshot of this. Now, new hair growth is grade one. Grade two is exposed to um, some oxygen, but not a lot. So that's more like natural hair. Grade three is heat styled hair. Grade four is hair that's got a chemical process or more than one chemical process, or oxidized process on it. And grade five is that you need to cut it off. It just won't hold anything. Okay, is that all? Am I going too fast or is this okay? We've got all that. So I just want to talk to you a little bit about oxidation there. So deox, right, this is how I store deox. I've got, I use it in, um, I've got it labelled in a little bottle. It's, there's none in it at the moment because obviously I'm not working at the moment, but I have got a bottle of old deox that's turned, um, I label it. Can you see that? It's gone brown. Now, deox is what manages our oxidation, and we've got to really get to grips with this. Do, does anyone stop oxidation after their chemical processes? It's, it's made a massive difference to my tones. Yes, good, that's what I like to hear. We need to do this, because if we don't, it can cause all sorts of problems, and also clients can, um, or will be complaining that their highlights are disappearing while their toners are fading too quickly. But this is mixed with eight ounces, eight to nine ounces of water, it does say eight, but I have done um, nine. Actually, it says six, but I do um, nine ounces because you can um, let, make it go further. Um, these, this is Crystal Gel's little brother, but it doesn't actually remove minerals at all. Um, so what this will do is it, it stops oxidation instantly. And I just want to show you that even though it's turned brown, it still it still works. So I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to put it there. Let's just right. let's do that. God. <laughs> right. I'm going to, have to stand up. Okay. So I'm going to glass of water, and this is the deox that. No, it's not. This is what I need. I need this potassium permanganate. I've labelled it toxic because it looks like all my colours that I mix up. So I'm going to put a little bit of this into there, mix it around with my chopstick. This is highly toxic, so I'm being really careful. I should have gloves on for this, really. And this is my deox that has been sitting there since lockdown, and it's turned brown and cloudy, but it still works. It's not as powerful, but it will still work. I'm just going to squeeze some in there. And just, oh, that's gross. <laughs> Look at that. 
bit of cloudy stuff in there as well. But can you see how instantly that gets rid of that potassium permanganate? Now, potassium permanganate um, is a an oxidizer, highly toxic oxidizer, which is why it's labelled because it looks exactly like all the colours that I mix up. Um, but it still works. So that's the strength of that is probably about. I'm going to put that there. Is about ten percent. So when um, deox is clear, it works 100%. When it's uh, yellow, it, um, it's probably about 50% strength. But when it goes brown like that, it's probably about 10%. So it still does work. You can still put it on someone's head, so it's not wasted. How does the plate art? I'll answer that later. Um, okay, how, I, I can answer that now, actually. So how does the clay draw out the um, colour? It's, uh, it's with the eons. Positive, positive and negative eons, um, the, uh, it attracts the colour out that way. So oxidised hair is, um, oh God, I always get this around the wrong way. So minerals are negative, colour is positive, I think. And the way it attracts it is that it, it draws it. So they, they attract to each other, so it pulls it out. So the minerals uh, uh, attach, the colour attaches itself to the minerals and it draws it out that way. I think I've explained that the right way around, but I always get mixed up with my positive and negatives, but I hope that answers it. Yes, have I got that right, Debbie? That's how it does it. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of information to remember. Um, okay, how long does deox last? So deox will last uh, five days in the fridge, uh, sorry, out the fridge, seven in the fridge. It goes brown and loses power, but it still has power. I've just demonstrated that one. Okay, quick fix. Are we on that one? Thank you. Okay, quick fix is for your little whoops moments. Um, this is for when your tints come out too dark or you have, um, you do a toner and it come and you haven't um, stopped oxidation properly or haven't stopped oxidation at all and it goes a bit purpley around the edges. It's good for that, it gets rid of it. It, gets, it just gets rid of tone. It's also good, um, I've had a couple of clients that, um, whose colors come out a bit too dark and, and it's not, dark straight away um, they go home and they think oh I don't like it it's too dark so I've just sent them one of these and told them to do it at home and it's corrected that so that's quite good for that as well how much do you use of how... right I'll answer that afterwards Stacey if that's all right okay where are we so we've done a quick fix Oh, let's not move it. Right, okay, so swimmers wellness. Um, this is something for um, chlorine, helps to get rid of chlorine, so it's good for all the people that swim out there, and for children it's especially good. It gets rid of khaki tones, um, restores movement and shine, prevents the build-up of chlorine on your hair. It's pretty um, self-explanatory, and also for hot tub users, there's a lot of people using hot tubs. So this is good for all those people that have been relaxing out in their hot tubs, and you need to get those minerals out of the hair. So that's good for that. So you can use the swimmers on them when they come back. You can actually do the swimmers in the salon or a um, crystal gel. It's completely up to you, but this is what they would ma maintain their hair at home with. Hard water, we spoke about this earlier. This helps to remove minerals, brassy tones, and, re and restores the um, color and shine to your hair. I know I'm going really fast, but I need to get through to the colours. Malibu Blondes, we spoke about this. Is that self-explanatory now? I think it is. Yeah. And it will remove old toners. They've got these. What I get my clients to do is if they've got Malibu um, Blondes at home, before they come for their highlights or their bleach, I get them to do one of these at home. And it, just, it just helps to get rid of any old toner or toning shampoos that they've been using. So that's really good. And this is more moisturising than the other um, sachets it helps to add moisture to the hair as well, which is good for blonde hair. Okay, right, color concentrated, color concentrate. We've got these colors. These are 100% vegan, pure pigment powder, and they are activated with water and they're completely intermixable. And there is an app that I use. So this is how, this is what I do, and I pre-mix them. And the reason why I pre-mix them is because, so this is how I have them. I cover them up just in case I, uh, so I've got them pre-mixed like that, they stay for, for quite a while in the cupboard. And then I pre-mix to, so to all the tones in the, uh, this, all the secondary tones. So I've got violet, 
and red violet. So this is how I label them. And that's why I label my um, potassium for manganate because it looks exactly the same, right? That would be dangerous. So if you're gonna be doing all that, make sure you label everything. And the reason why I pre-mix them is because blue is an unstable color. So it needs to, um, uh, it needs to have time to amalgamate with the, the red and the yellow so it doesn't separate in the bowl. Sometimes you can see it separating in the bowl or separating in the, the shampoos um, or the conditioners that you're going to infuse. So that's why I mix them up together first. Do uh, No, they, Chloe, they don't need to apply heat at home uh, with the sachets. Oh, one that I just forget is Curl Partner as well. Curl Partner, oh, but, oh, we can talk about that in a sec. Let's talk about the colours. Right. Okay. So, how do we? Um, you, what do we use these colours for? We can use them in um, oxidised colours. We can use them in direct colours. We can use them in conditioners. We can use them in clay. Um, these are the bottles that you use to mix them up with. And um, you would uh, add them to um, your colour clay, uh, colour clay conditioner treatment or um, your shampoos and conditioners and you just you add as much as you want and you can do this in front of a client as well and um, quite often when I'm mixing up a tint I will say right I, want, I ask my client whether she wants it warmer or cooler or more intense or more vibrant and then that's when I will formulate for her in front of her not so much with these bottles I will probably use the secondary colors so like that and I do that in front in front of her especially for toners but you must be very very careful because um, they are pure pigment. There's no um, uh, base in these colours. It is pure pigment, so they are very, very strong. And what I would start off with first is um, the the yellow. So I just want to talk to you a little bit how the colours play. So we've got yellow. Yellow is our anchor, okay? And red is the vibrancy, so how bright you want the colour. And blue is the depth, so this makes it darker. So if I'm mixing up a colour, I would always start with the lightest colour first, if it's got the yellow in it, obviously. If it's purple, it will just have these two. Um, so I will start with the yellow, because that usually has the most in there. And then I'd put in the red, and then I'd go in with the blue if I want to make it a little bit cooler or a little bit darker. So just remember that, that um, you always start with the lightest colour first. Otherwise, if you put the red first, you're going to be needing to add loads of... Um, yellow to make it um, light enough or bright enough. So yellow is our anchor. Um, we have sold lots of these during the lockdown. Oh, brilliant. Uh, okay. So Malibu clay, it is, it looks like cornflower. I think that's probably what it is. I don't know what it is made of, but um, this is really good for using in highlights. Um, or balayage, or I know some of you like to use it in your um, high lift tints because it helps to make the consistency a little bit thicker. Uh, number six, don't know what number six is. Um, oh, don't, well, I'll come to those questions afterwards. I just need to um, get through all of this. So um, it's paraben and gluten free clay. So it's really good to mix in with your colors. Really fantastic for balayage because what it does, it actually cocoons um, the colour. So it, it forms like a little crust outside um, on the hair and inside is, it's a lot warmer. So it helps to develop the cover evenly and um, uh, really nice. I, I get really good results from it. And it's 100% vegan, obviously. Um, and it will also keep the moisture in as well. Oh, my daughter was pressing. <laughs> oh, dear, my daughter just came in as well. Um, okay, so um, I've spoken to you about pre-mixing the colours. Um, it's really important to pre-mix actually. So if you're going to make a toner, a toning shampoo for somebody, um, and you're going to do say purple, so you need to obviously add this and this. I would, I would have my blue violet ready in my dispensary or the violet ready already. So I would use this instead of that because this has had enough time for the blue to really amalgamate with um, the, the red. It needs it and it just helps to keep it stable. What app do you use? I'm coming to the app. Okay. I can't believe how quick this time's gone. Right, here we go. There's the Malibu app. So you've got, um, so that's the app, the, uh, the one with the brush on it. And then when you go inside the app, these are the colors. So all those secondary colors I have pre-mixed. 
I don't mix up the greens. I don't really have a lot of um, people that, uh, that want green, <laughs> funny enough. I do use green uh, in mixed in with tints. So I have, um, if I'm gonna uh, say tone down uh, the warmth of someone's natural base color with a green, um, I would, ha would pre-mix uh, that day because I know that I'm gonna use it or I'll mix up before I, I mix up their color. Okay, so that's that one. Let's go on to the next. So these are the ones that you we looked at these before, didn't we? This is what you'd use to color infuse. And what the way that you do it is um, inside the packet, they have um, a little syringe that you just syringe the color out and just inject it into the shampoo. There are uh, videos on YouTube. I will actually post it in our group later on. I was meant to put it on this presentation, but I wasn't sure how much time would get. So I will do that later. Okay, we've got some new products um, from Malibu C. We've got Curate, everyone's doing um, sanitizers. But this sanitizer comes in a, a, a big pack for salons, bottles this size as well. It comes in little sachets like that, because they love a sachet. And that sachet has got 3.5 mils in it, which is the correct amount that you need for, uh, for your hands. Um, and it comes in little bottles that you can keep at the station. I've actually um, got the automatic ones that you just put your hand underneath because I don't want anyone touching anything. I've done that for soap as well. So um, uh, I'll have a look at that. You can retail the little ones. Yes, you can retail the little sachets. Um, hopefully we'll get, I've not got mine yet. I don't think um, Passion have got these yet, but they're coming soon. And also just to let you know um, a little bit more about sanitizer. Now everyone's talking about, we've got to have 70% alcohol. Well. For it to be effective, it's got to be between 65, I think, and 90% alcohol. So um, if there's too much alcohol, it will disappear on your hands too quickly, it'll just evaporate. So this is, I think, 65% or 70%, and um, you need to have it on your hands for 20 to 30 seconds for it to be effective. So you've got to do this for 20 to 30 seconds. And Debbie did mention this the other day when she goes to her nail bar. So this is what I'm going to get my clients to do. And this is what I've been doing and then putting gloves on. So it does need to be on the hands for 20 to 30 seconds for it to be effective. Okay. And the little bottles. Oh, and the little bottles, yeah. Yes. Uh, DDL, this is our new product. I didn't, this is the only picture I could find on the internet of this product. So this is the new product that's coming. We've not got it yet. I'm not sure if it'll come to the UK. I, I'm hoping it will. Um, and this is the one that's got ammonia in, so be wary of that. Okay. Any questions? These are non-alcohol. They're not. Oh, they're on. Oh, I didn't know that, Debbie. Non-alcohol ones coming soon. Okay, so these are the offers that we've got um, at the moment on Deox um, and the Colour Structure. I think it comes as a package. And we've also got the color disruptor by itself, I think. This is the first time. I, I did look at this briefly this morning, but um, this is what um, Passion Pair are doing. And I think it will be on the website. So have a look at that. That's really good. Um, hoping that Passion will get lots of orders due to this. Can you flip back with the slide so you can scroll? Hold on. Slide up. Yes, I can flick through the slides, yeah. But before I do that, here are, so there's your offers and these are some Facebook groups that you can follow on Malibu C. We've, now we've got the Corrective Colour, a new category of service, which probably all of you are members of. And you've also got the Malibu C Education Forum. There's that. And then on Instagram, you've got all of these. So you've got Malibu C Pro, Passion for Hair, Malibu, Malibu uh, P4H Academy, and the Malibu C Pro UK. I've uh, okay, screenshots, okay. All right. Yeah, do we need to go back for this? Right, we'll go for the questions now and I'll ask you what ones you want so you can take screenshots as well. So is that all clear? Do I have any more questions or shall I just go back for all the questions now? Oh, right, yes, we're going for the questions. Does it work better on wet or dry hair? Does what work better on uh wet or dry hair. I don't know what we're referring to. Are we referring to colour or crystal gel? Help me. Who, Charlie, can you let me know what um, 
what you'd like to know. Oh, or should we go to the next question and come back? Oh, we can't come back to that, can we? We can't go back on questions. That was crystal. Oh, okay, crystal gel must go on wet hair. It has to go on wet hair because you have to undo goo first. That's your first step. So undo goo and then crystal gel or whatever other sachet. So always shampoo the hair first to get rid of surface um, build up. You're welcome. Next question. If you have scalp condition eczema, how often would you use it once or twice a week? Um, I would use it once a week. Um, yes, definitely once a week. Okay. Would you recommend your clients to use one of the Uh Oh, a few weeks in after. Right, okay. So if you're talking about this one, if um, they only use this, when they're coming for their color because this will remove minerals and it can remove colors and toners as well so i would get them to do that the day before so this does come in the packet um and okay that was yeah so this i would do it the day before they come for their color not, not halfway through their um service because it will take color out is that all okay no sorry color blonde, oh color blonde sachet this one um this will remove um toners so this this it depends what they want to do so if it just to make them aware it will remove um their toner or their toning shampoo so i would probably do it say towards the end um it's good for um hair that's lost its highlight so it will revitalize the highlight so if, they, if they've been using a toning shampoo or conditioner and their hair's getting too ashy and it's going a bit too much on the ends because the ends tend to take it first or more, then I would use that to revitalize it, to clean it all off, get a clean canvas, and then they can continue with their um, their shampoo and conditioner at home, the toning one. Is that good? Has that answered your question, Chloe? Would you use the blonde sachet if they had gone? Let me just... Uh, I think I've answered that one. Oh, there's a... next question. Does it help people who have resistant hair? Yes. Um, if their hair is resistant, it's usually because resistant. It's usually because they've got a buildup on their hair, so um, it would help. If there's if there's minerals in the way, if so, say this is your hair and you've got minerals on top and you're trying to colour it, it's not going to get through because minerals are rocks. They're hard. They're solid uh, materials, and colour cannot penetrate. So you need to get that off first for the colour to work. If you do colour hair with minerals on it, the colour will just sit on top of the minerals. So when they next wash their hair the colour comes off, but the minerals stay. So that's when they get faded. So that's probably what you've been experiencing. So resistant hair or fading too quickly, that kind of thing. So it helps with fading, helps with um, uh, difficult to cover white hair. Um, when, it, when, any, it, when anyone ever says to me that they've got difficulties with their hair or their hair's not lasting and their colour's fading too fast, I just say, you've got a mineral buildup. That's it. That's, that's my answer to everything. And then, I, oh, okay. Then we start talking. But I usually talk about it first anyway, so. Hopefully that's answered that question for you, Kirsty. Has it? The next question. Oh, how much do you charge? Didn't see that. How much do you charge for the colour of hair to send out? I charge um, £6.50 for these. Um, you can charge more, it's completely up to you, but I kind of did my maths so that which works for my salon. So I did start off with five. But um, this year it was 6.50. And I hope that answers your question, Michelle. But obviously, yeah, it did. If someone has been using John Food Lightning Spray, whatever that is, or Sun In, oh, blimey, blast from the past, on their hair could... could yeah, right, okay. If they've been using that, more than likely, these products could have metallic salts in their hair. So I would do, I would do crystal gel. I'd go in with a big daddy, definitely. It, they, need, they need this. Okay, and just tell them, don't use that stuff on here. It's just, they're persulfates, more than likely. Um, or lemon juice, don't, you know, they do lemon juice as well on the hair. I, 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 don't, I don't know what they do, but yeah, go in with this, go in with this, get it completely off, 45 minutes under heat, get that stuff off their hair, out of their hair, because it will um, affect your colouring. Just, uh, and also whatever you do after to their hair, make sure their hair can take it. So if you're going to be pre-lightening or colouring or whatever, make sure their hair can take it with a, um, an incompatibility test or a porosity test. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, back to the prostate test. Uh, the way that I do it with a prostate is um, I get the hair, the one strand of hair, put it in water. If it floats, it's fine. The prostate is fine. If not, do a crystal gel. Um, what if the client had never had crystal gel before? Would you kind of disrupt or be enough? Right. Depends what you're trying to do. Are you trying to get rid of minerals? Because if that's your um, uh, what you're trying to achieve, if you want to get rid of minerals, I would um, do crystal gel, definitely. If you're doing a colour change or a colour correction, um, I would do a uh, colour disruptor first. Andrea, has that answered your question? We can talk more about that. Andrea's one of my friends, so we could, oh yeah, okay, good. Um, can you talk us through the pricing for all the additions to your colour prep? Right, okay, yes. Um, I, when I do a colour correction, I incorporate um, crystal gel or the sachets into my pricing anyway. So that's all in my pricing. Um, and I also incorporate deox in with it as well. So I just add um, uh, whatever. When it comes to colouring, I just, it, it, they, they have this in the price. So that would be 650. Crystal gel, if they're having a, um, a colour correction, I incorporate that into the price. So I don't say, oh, by the way, you need this, you need that. I just say, right, I'm going to do this, 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 and this, and this. And I just put it all in. Like I would with, um, I incorporate the price for the skin protection, the scalp oil, the deox that I'm going to use. It's all in there. Um, so that's what I've done. And the reason why I've done that is because I don't want them to say, oh, I don't want this, but I want that, I want this. I, I want to make the best choice for my client. If they say to me, um, I, I don't want that, I don't want this, I say, well, that's absolutely fine, but I cannot guarantee my colour results. So I tr more, more often than not, they, they do have it. I don't really get a problem. And if they don't want to do it, they're not my client, I don't think, um, especially new clients. Um, I talk to them a lot about it and I get a lot of inquiries and I get a lot of people saying, oh, no, I don't want to spend that much. And I just say, okay, that's fine. They're not my client. So I hope that's um, been answered. Oh, this is another question or is that the same one? Is that answer? Okay. How would you test the hair before doing a treatment to check the strength? Okay. Incompatibility test I would do. Um, and I would also do a prostate test. The prostate test is um, I take the hair or we do stretch it as well. And if it stretches and snaps, you know, that's not a strong hair. Um, I would do the incompatibility test by Bixin. Um, I do, is it, it's equal amounts of, um, oh God, what was it? It's the oxidant, the oxidant and perm lotion. That's how um, I do it. So I have a little bottle of that and equal amounts. And if it just fizzes up um, or breaks, it's, it's no good. It will fizz up a little bit because that's the chemical reaction. Also, um, I then stretch it afterwards. I also do a prostate test where I check um, the hair, take a strand of hair, drop it into water. If it floats, it's fine. If it doesn't, it's not. But I tend to do um, crystal gel before any client that I've never met before, because that will just get rid of any metallic salts, which helps. Is that, yeah. Do you have to emulsify the color disruptor into the hair? Um, you can massage it in, but you don't want to like really scrub it. You know, it's 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 an oil product. You're not there. You're not trying to scrub anything off. What you're doing is just treating the hair. So as long as you've got it um, covered and you've got enough on there, it'll be fine. So just massage it in. No, no, don't be too rough. You can't be too rough with hair anyway. How much do you use as a whole sachet? As we use a whole sachet, so are we using? No, you do need a whole sachet of crystal gel for one application, yes. Sometimes I use two, because um, that only makes them two ounces. So, um, yeah, so sometimes I use two. So for my hair, one, um, hair longer, maybe two, or excessively thick hair, two. Uh, how soon after do you need to use it for? To, how soon do I need to use what crystal? Oh, crystal gel uh, within um, 48 hours. 20, no, sorry, 24 hours. I'm thinking about skin tests. So I've been doing skin test stuff. 24 hours. And also, um, quick fix can be used up to 48 hours after a colour. So, yeah, 24 hours for these. That one and that one. Yeah. Is that good, Sophie? 
I think it tells you on the back. I can't actually see because it's too. I need a magnifying glass. Can you bleach blonde highlights? Can you? Can you? Can your bleach? Can your bleach blonde highlight clients use the sachets between appointments? Oh, didn't I answer that one? Um, they yes, they can use that just to get rid of um, old toner and um, also hair that's been toned too much. So sometimes. I get clients that phone me and say, oh, I've, put, I've left my toning shampoo or condition on for too long. It's gone great. What can I do? So I say, get this out. So it will take colour off. It does remove tone. Does that answer your question? The colour was, if the colour was applied and was too vibrant, would quick fix help? Too vibrant. I suppose it would. I suppose what if it's too, too vibrant, do you mean like root glow? So I never get root glow. Um, it's more for yes I think it would take out the vibrancy a little bit but if it doesn't I mean, it's worth trying it I've never had too vibrant problem um, I suppose yeah I suppose it would I'll find out exactly for you but I'm sure it would because it would it does rem uh, remove tone and if you need to um, tone it down with something else afterwards yeah you could I'll find out for you exactly but I would have thought quick fix would yeah, if it was too vibrant. But root glow, if that's what you're talking about, um, I would then tone that down. If that's what you're talking about. Was it? Oh, yes, it would. Oh, Debbie's answered. Oh, okay. Can you make pastel colours? Yes, you can. Because uh, clay is um, white, and also the other carrot that I showed you, the conditioner, the mask, that is white as well. So you'd mix with conditioners to put it on to, I'm, I'm assuming um, very blonde here. So you'd use the carrier, this or the conditioner as your carrier. Or you can mix it in with, um, you can mix it in with any colors as well. So you can mix it in with um, sensors colors too, but you can make pastels. And, it, and if you're using a white conditioner and you put, uh, you put the colors in, so say you're using, I don't know, blue violet or a bit of, uh, violet and you're making it really really quite pale the color that it is in the bowl that's it, that's what it's going to come out on your hair so yes you can these are direct colors by the way they're not oxidized but you can mix them in with oxidized colors if you want oh right that's answered that what app do you use to get the color recipes um it was the one that i showed you uh let's see. uh have we got it have we, did we we've got the slide for that haven't we I can actually post that up in our group. Is that okay? Is that what you mean by the colour recipes? The concentrate colour app, yeah. Next question, is there another question or is that it? What app, do, are we stuck or have we run out of time? Next question, oh, okay. How long does the crystal gel last for once you've mixed it up? So five days out of the fridge, six, seven days in the fridge, but like I said, um, when it turns to this colour, it, it loses its potency. It still works, but crystal gel, um, I don't really have any of this. I used to store it because I never had deox. So um, it never used to last that long in my salon anyway, because I'd use it on every client. To, I'd use it after a colour to stop oxidation. But um, now I have this, I never have any of this left over. So what I do with deox is I, I get a little spray like that label it and have that and I spray that at the basin and if there's any left over it just does this there was we closed didn't we or we paused didn't we for a little bit hopefully that's answered that for you I made up a beautiful pastel pink and peach lot oh is that Debbie making colours up um do you always have to use a treatment conditioner after the crystal gel CPR if so yes you do I didn't mention that did I yes because when you do a crystal gel or CPR it, uh, as it removes minerals it leaves potholes uh, so you've got to put all that back in with the protein and the moisture so you fill that back up again with the miracle repair um or any other you can use other um treatments as well um senses euphoria but I, I, I always go in with the, uh, this one miracle repair because that's what's recommended and um and then you leave that on and then you rinse that um off and then put conditioner on but yes definitely Ian thank you for that because I missed that didn't I 
What can you use if you have resistant grey hair coverage? Right, okay. Crystal gel is your first port of call if it's if she's never had that or he's never had that. And between services, this one. And then obviously you would uh, pre-colour as well. And then colour. Okay. Do you charge six feet on all different sachets? Yes, I do. Uh, does the iron levels in your blood affect the colour or is it just iron in the water? Um, iron on your hair is what, uh, thank you Francesca, that's a really good question. Um, did your dad put you up to that one? Uh, I don't know about the iron levels in the blood, possibly, I don't know, I can find out for you but definitely iron in the hair will make the hair more resistant so you've got to crystal gel first, get that off with that and then uh, colour the hair. But I can find out about the blood. I've not been asked that one before. That's, there's always a first. Has that answered your question, Francesca? Yeah. How much colour concentrate would you add into a colour? Oh, it depends. It just depends how I, I have a, a in-depth consultation uh, with my client. Uh, thank you for that one, Vicky. And I will find out if she wants to go like really vibrant. So what I've been using for years is, do you want your colour to uh, whisper, talk or scream to you? And that's what I ask them first. And uh, so that sort of um, guides me. So maybe, so say I mix up a 30 grams of colour and then the developer. So we've got, uh, so, so th th just 30, 30 grams of colour, not oxidant, forget the oxidant. I might do sort of uh, five to 15 grams of the colours, depending on what they want. If they want it like, da -da, then more but you can sort of mix it and see. Um, sometimes I might use less if I just wanna just give it that little bit of kick. So less than five is a whisper, five to 10 is a talk, and then um, 10, to 10 to 15 is a scream. Hope that answers your question. Yeah, next, any more questions? Or we, oh, do you shampoo color sculpture out? Yes, you do. Um, you rinse thoroughly and then you uh, shampoo with undo goo once or twice but once should be enough because you're going to go in with with CPR anyway so then you're going to shampoo the hair three times afterwards so it's quite a lot to be shampooing the hair like you know you'd have shampooed one two three four five six six times then seven after colour um, so dilute prime colours with the conditioning mask or clay so dilute prime colours with the conditioning no no um, I right so these prime colors here so they come in little sachets like that like this yeah you can see I've run out of yellow I always run out of yellow first because that's the one that I use most of um, so you these are powder and then you get um, your um, mixer bottle put the water in mix these in and mix them up so these are the primary colors and then from this I make my secondary colors and that's how I do it. And then once I've got the colours that I want, um, I use either the clay or I mix it into my colours. And then I mix it into conditioners, shampoos, that kind of thing. Has that answered your question, Andrew? Thank you. Oh, is there any more questions? Have we got more? Always miracle repair followed by another conditioner. I do, yes. Yeah, I do, because I like to seal the uh, seal the deal. Um, after crystal gel, do you apply miracle repair right at the end of a service? After all colour service have been completed. Yes. So after yeah, so I will do crystal gel, colour the hair, um, tone it, deox, all of that, and then once I'm once I've taken all the colour off, um, shampoo, uh, miracle repair. Leave it on 10 minutes and then uh, condition, rinse and condition. Yeah, it's the last thing. Because you're sit, you're locking it all in. Uh, thank you for that one, Kai. Um, is, if crystal gel is left in the face, can you remove the product? All right, okay. Um, Michelle, this is if you're going to get rid of um, uh, Minerals, yes, you can apply it to the hair because it's gonna go underneath the dryer and that's gonna heat it all up. So that'll help it to work. And the reason why we need the heat is because we need to open the hair up because it is a natural product. So that's why we need the heat. 
So it says to mix it with water, because you've already pre-mixed it with warm water anyway, and that's what makes it uh, mix better. So um, it's fine straight out of the fridge, because you're going to get, it's going to get warm on the hair anyway. It will still stop oxidation, whether it's warm or uh, cold. If someone had highlights and gone super blonde, but then wanted a pastel pink colour toner, would you mix the red concentrate with the clay? Uh, pastel pink toner. I would mix, uh, if they want pink, uh, yeah, tiny, tiny amount of pink, tiny, tiny amount of red in with the clay, yes. Um, I don't, if I'm, if I'm doing pastels, I tend to go more for the conditioner, like the mask, because it's easier. I use clay, clay is good for all your vibrant colours. You can, you can mix um, pastels in with that, but I've not got, that good results, so I tend not, not as good results. So I tend to go with um, the conditioners for, for more pastel-y um, colours, but you can do it, but you need a, a lot of clay and, and not very much colour. So I, that's why I go with the, the, the mask, because it's easier to apply as well. Yay! Well, good, I think we've gone over. We've, we've done an hour and a half, blind I knew it was gonna take a long time. Hopefully you haven't got bored listening to me. <laughs> I'm sure you haven't. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I put it in the mask. Yeah, Debbie puts it in the mask too. So that's it. I will um, put up um, in our group um, on, on Facebook the slides. Any slides that you want, I think um, Declan will tell me. And I can put those up in the group. I can put the colour app on there as well. Um, hopefully I've answered all your questions. If there's anything else, just add it into the group. And I think that's it. Are we all all right? Good uh, this morning. Oh, I can't hear you. Let me turn you up. I turned you down. Turn me up. <laughs> oh, oh, are you turning yourself up? Can you can you hear me now? Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks very much. It was a really good webinar this morning. Um, like you said, all the uh, the presentation will be up on um, P4H Stylist Hotline on Facebook for those asking. Uh, I know a few of you were trying to get some screenshots, so we'll pop that up there. Uh, also, the link to the app is actually, if you go to passionforhair.com, that's the main website, passionforhair.com, on the homepage, there is a link to the app. Um, depending on which device you have, of course, the, the, the link will be different. So both links are on there whether you use Google Play or the App Store. And uh, don't forget to check out that uh, pop-up shop, guys. The link is along the top there. Uh, you can also go to P4H Pro to find that and look in the menu for pop-up shop. Uh, that will give you access to the discounted products that we've rolled out for the next uh, sort of 24 hours here. Um, coming into the week, we've got a lot of webinars coming up. We've got Euphora Vision Quest Day 2. Uh, coming up this afternoon, so don't forget that. That's at 5 p.m. Um, and then Census have rolled out uh, a, a lot of webinars throughout the week. And, of course, we have our ones as well. Uh, so don't forget to, to log on to P4H Pro. Um, go to the P4H Academy online link. Uh, check out what's coming up and register for those so you guys don't miss out. Uh, but for now, um, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, we'll see some of you uh, on Wednesday. Thanks once again, Maria. Are oh, you welcome? See you later. Bye. Thank you, everyone.